Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine. Expecting you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. On today's show, I have a treat for the Dominicans. Dominicans. For the, and in particular, Dominicans who support Black Lives Matter movement. Still, after it had the truth has come out, what do these people represent? I've done a video on my channel, 13 Reasons Why Christians Should Not Support Black Lives Matter. Go check it out. You're going to see what they really represent. They're probably against something that you believe in. But this is her right here. In 2015 in Harlem, her right here on the right with none other than, look at this great example of a human being, Nicolas Maduro in Venezuela. Let's see what this says. I don't know if this is true, but this is a picture I found on Reddit. Uh, this that right here that I'm about to read. I don't know if it's true. Sounds like it possibly can. Co-founder of Black Lives Matter, Opal Tometi, posing with Nicolas Maduro. About 6,000 people a year are murdered by Venezuela. Law enforcement, six times the number of, of people killed by U.S. cops in a country 12 times smaller that has banned private gun ownership, right? That's her. But to the Dominicans that are here and want to know, should I still keep supporting Black Lives Matter? Again, Nobody's against the fact that black lives do matter. Everybody knows that. Any logical person knows that. Do you even have to state that? The only pe people that you got <laughs> that you got to question whether they support Black Lives Matter or, or, or the 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 notion, not the organization. The organization is an evil one. Is the KKK? Ask them if they they they, they don't care about Black Lives, so they will say you tell tell you no, Black Lives don't matter. But back to the issue at hand here. This is Opal Tometi, co-founder of Black Lives Matter. Back in 2015, when the Dominican Republic. I, I, issued a ruling saying that they will no longer recognize birthright citizenship. This is her. And I'm going to explain to you, for the people that don't know what birthright citizenship is, standing with Dominicans of Haitian descent, she, uh, she, um, she tweets this article here, which is a, an anti-Dominican Republic article. As a matter of fact, look what it says here. Boycott DR. <laughs> You're supporting an organization that one of its founders wants to boycott your country or where your roots are at. So this was the issue at hand. In the Dominican Republic, they decided to earn birthright citizenships, not only for Haitians, for everybody. But they're going to take it because they don't, these people are leftists. They're going to make it seem like it's only for Haitians. Birthright citizenships for anybody born to illegal immigrants after 1929. They decided that. Why? Because they're a sovereign country. They have the right to decide that why. The problem is as follows. Even Trump has taunted this uh, idea of uh, ending birthright citizenship because people take advantage of it. For example, this, this happens in, the, the, in here, but not in every country. When you're born in the United States, you are automatically a United States citizen because you are born here. When you're born in the Dominican Republic, it doesn't work like that. And other countries around the world. It doesn't work like that. Um, you are a you are a citizen of where your parents come from. And, and, and to be honest, it sounds kind of fair also because then it opens up the door for people taking advantage. So what happened, what is happening in the United States? There's people that are living, have birth, uh, it's called uh, birth tourism, right? Where they literally schedule, and I've seen this happen. I've seen this, right? Um, there's people that, uh, come, for example, from Russia, they come to uh, Florida and they have their babies here. That's it. And then they go back just to have an American citizenship. I've seen people from um, other places come here, other places that are not necessary states come from 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 that, that place and have their the children in New York or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It opens up the door for exploitation of the system so there's people that want to have a, a a a american child and what they do on a visa they will come to the united states have their children here that way the child is american and then they will go back to their country they don't live here they just want to have the child here to exploit the system and i think it's fair whatever country whatever sovereign country decides to do whatever laws they want they are a sovereign country why I, I one thing that I never seen here, no everybody never questioning it. 
what is the Haitian government doing for the Haitians? Are they taking them in? Are they receiving them back in? What is the Haitian government, again, the government doing for the Haitian people, right? That that, that question is never be to answer. Dominican Republic has been a country that has always been there, 100% for Haiti, 100%. Just look after the last earthquake that they have. Who was there? Dominican Republic. Because they're right next door? No, that doesn't mean that they're the ones to have to help. They're there because they want to help. Um, so for all those Dominicans that are still to this day supporting Black Lives Matter, the anti-men, anti-family, anti-nuclear family, right, movement, you're still supporting them. Uh, maybe hopefully this will make you stop supporting them. Guys, we're trying to make it to 1,000 subscribers and only with your help. We're going to make it how? Sharing is caring. Liking is caring. And commenting is also caring. I have a live show every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, where you could call and speak directly to me anonymously. Voice your opinions. Two rules only. Respect and no cursing. That's it. See you there. God bless. God speak me, Valentine. I'm out.